Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. I am kind of nervous to start this model because the last four projects in a row, we're all missing at least one or maybe a couple very vital pieces to actually finish the project. So this is the fifth try now with the upcoming MIDI scale Nebulon B from the designer Fly in Space. Now you might remember some of his models like the impossible looking MIDI scale Millennium Falcon or Razorcrest and he also did some awesome Star Destroyers. Uh, and now we've got a really cool MIDI scale Nebulon B that's gonna hopefully have all the pieces, hopefully I've got all the pieces for it right here. Uh, but I guess we're gonna find out. Now, as per usual, the instructions for this model and all the other ones can be found at our web store, brickvault.toys. And now it's time for me to organize all the parts and actually get this thing put together. As per usual, organization is always key when starting off a project. We got the stand built and remember with each purchase comes a PDF step-by-step -step building guide if you ever order instructions from us. You get a parts list for fast ordering your pieces online and uh, I just made the first final connection here so the outline of the ship is finally on the stand. physically test the models in real life to make sure that they can be built. I'm about to cover this area off, but there's some great, great, very, very detail-oriented connections in this model for sure. It is now the beginning of day two. I've got pretty much the whole front end and the nose. Oh boy, the nose is difficult to put together, but it's really starting to take shape now. And let's see how long it takes to finish the back end. Link in the description below if you want to get started. And I swear, I must have said something similar when I built the uh, MIDI scale Falcon. I'm not going to go and rewatch that old video again. But there is something so unique about building a fly in space designed model. I want to say I've been building and testing out custom designers models for about five years now. 65 different builders and uh, maybe 300 or so models. I'm not, I don't know, I haven't really kept count, but uh, a few designers have very distinct styles that when you start putting them together, you know immediately who designed the creation. That is definitely the case when it comes to fly in space. You can always say things like highly finessed or tightly packed details, or maybe the most oversaid thing in the channel, which is attention to detail. But the way in which this designer tackles a project is a little bit different compared to anything else I've encountered. It's hard to describe, but everything is just a bit unconventional here when it comes to internal connections. It's funny, when I started this, I thought the Nebulon B isn't gonna be nearly as difficult a shape to pull off as something like the Falcon or the Razor Crest, so this one's gonna be a breeze. Well, Fly, Fly in Space doesn't go easy breezy. He goes for the right kind of look, no matter the cost, of the internal complexity that it may require. Now, to be perfectly fair, this is easier to put together than, let's say, his MIDI scale Falcon or Razor Crest, but this is certainly not a walk in the park when actually constructing it. There are very precise types of connections, and much of the paneling requires such precise placement that uh, it's gotta be pretty exact if you want it to all mesh together properly. Now the results speak for themselves. I genuinely don't think you can manipulate Lego pieces to fit much more detail than what we are seeing right here, but it's also not 
just about the details. There really are some incredibly subtle angling and proportions found on this model that are just friggin immaculate. Now, as a highly detailed display piece, this model does come with the fairly common no touchy stamp, like the obviously thin little thingies that stick out can break off or slightly bend out of place. In general, you just don't want to be messing around with some of the larger body paneling. They aren't super delicate necessarily, but there are a couple of areas that would just be a pain to rebuild if you did actually break something out of place. Now there is Technic that goes through most of the body, not at the bottom of the stand. I'm actually applying just a little bit of pressure towards itself just as like a safety precaution in case like the stand here wants to separate, like I can separate it a little bit. So when I pick it up, I am actually kind of like squeezing it just a hair. Obviously you don't want to like really squeeze it and like I don't know, have all the pieces fly out in every way. Anyways, it's pretty easy to pick up is what I'm trying to say. And all right, there it is for the Nebulon B. I always consider this to be the ultimate kit bashing ship from like the original trilogy. Uh, they took a bunch of old models back in the day and they built a lot of spaceships just based on old airplane parts and stuff that's present in all or most of the original ships. And this is so present, especially along the nose. This is just like the ultimate, just random different kits all glued together that made this uh, fairly unique, really interesting looking uh, frigate for the Rebels. So anyways, if you did want to build this, the instructions can be found at our web store. That is BrickVault.toys. If you enjoy our content, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share. If you have any ideas about more models in the future, please let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you next time at BrickVault. <laughs>